In this photo director video, I'm going to be removing the background from this image. Photo director has some new background removal tools. The auto object selection tool and the rectangle selection tool. Let's get started. So first I'll choose an image and then I'm going to right click on the background layer and duplicate it. I'll turn off my background layer. Now we're ready to remove the background. I'm going to choose the Auto Object Selection tool, and Photo Director makes a pretty good selection. But I'm going to deselect it by choosing Command D because I'd rather make a rectangular selection. So I'll click and drag to make my selection. I'll then want to refine my selection, but right now the Refine button isn't showing, so I need to choose the Manual Brush Selection in order to activate it. Once the Refine button is activated, click on it. So I want to remove the blue background that's still visible, so I'm just going to click and drag and then I'll just wait and the program will do its thing, processing. And then just go around the perimeter of your subject. Zoom in and zoom out as you need to. And then once you're done with that, click the OK button. Then I'm going to click up here to add a mask. And I'll click Command D to deselect the selection. And now I want to refine my selection even further, but I'm going to do that on the mask. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and making sure I'm on the mask, I'm going to come over here to the pen tool and I'm going to change my color to black. And then I'm just going to paint on those blue areas. And I'm using the airbrush to make my selection. And see right there I just made a mistake. I did that on purpose because I want to show you you can come back over to the pen tool and change your color to white. Click OK and then you can just paint that area back in. So the black color removes and the white color paints it back. So white reveals and black conceals. So I'm just going to get in there and just clean that up as best that I can. And now I'm going to save it as a PNG. And I want it as a PNG to maintain the transparency. So just save it to where you want it to be saved to because we're going to need to access that file in just a minute. So now that I've saved it, I want to open my background image. So I'm going to click Library and just say yes to save here. And there's our saved cutout right there. And then I'm going to, I want to use this image right here. So I'm going to click onto that and then I'm going to click edit. And then I'm going to click full screen. And now I'm going to import that PNG that I just saved. So I'm going to click up here and add photo layer from folder. Whoops, from folder. And then I'm going to double click on that file that I saved. I want the skateboarder to be flipped horizontally, so I'm just going to come up here and choose flip layer horizontally. And now I'll add an express template by coming up here and then clicking onto the template right here. 
and then clicking OK. So now I want to combine all of those layers from that Express template. So I'm going to highlight them all and then right click and choose Group Layers. And then I'm going to rename the group to Express Template. So right click and choose Rename. And then just click in here and type. You can always delete some of the layers from the Express Template. Or you can modify them. You can change the opacity of some of the layers. Or the blending mode. I want to change some of the text layers, so I'm going to come over here and choose the text tool. And then I'm just going to double click my cursor and highlight the existing text and then change my color. I want to change it to white. And then just click anywhere after you're done typing to accept it. And now I'm going to change the text in this layer. And then click OK to accept it. And now I'm just going to change the phone number. And that will be the last text layer that I change. So that was just a quick demonstration of how to remove the background of an image and then also add an Express template. You can always add more Express templates just by clicking back up at the Add Express Template and just scroll through them and see what you like. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really motivates me to keep making these tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I wish everyone a very happy new year.